You'll remember that in the last video I built this circuit um, and so this is a TMS 9918A, the video display chip that I'm using, um, controlled by an Arduino. Now the TMS normally expects external uh, video RAM, VRAM, and I don't have any of that connected up here. Instead, the Arduino is just driving the basic control lines. But that's enough to demonstrate that it works, make sure that it generates a signal and it initializes correctly, and to um, flash some pictures on the on the screen as we saw last time. Not, well, not so much images, but to flash colors on the screen so that we can see that it's working by resetting the um, resetting the backdrop color. What I've been doing this week is trying to make the same thing work, but using my computer, using the 6502 machine. So, so this is the same circuit, another TMS 9918A, um, with, an, again, just the control line set up. So these are the eight data lines, and these are the four control lines, and these are connected up to the user port on my machine, so they're being driven by this 6522, which I'm controlling through um, some software I've been writing in fourth. Um, and so I'm basically just trying to reproduce what was, um, what was working on here, and that's working now. So if I hit this, then you'll see we can flash through the different, um, the 16 different colors that the TMS knows about and set them as the backdrop color. So we can see that the control signaling is working and the 6522 is able to talk to the, to the TMS chip. This is not how I'm going to run it eventually. I want instead to hook it into the data bus directly. That'll be much faster and much easier. Um, but for the moment, I'm just using this to make sure that, I'm, uh, that I know what I'm doing with the chip. Um, and what actually mattered um, in the end was timing. So being able to compare what was going on here to what was going on here was very useful. And in particular, let me see that I was um, I needed extra delays in my code to let the um, to to let the signal settle while I was uh, controlling the chip. I think I was driving it too fast before from the six five zero two. So haven't managed to do spend a whole lot of time on this this week, but um, but it's a heartening progress nonetheless. And so the next thing to do will be to go back to what I was doing before with building out the the memory and the VRAM on here, so that we can drive it for real load fonts and so forth. Um, that means uh, going back to the circuit that. Um, it uses the the dynamic RAM interface that this chip offers, but makes it compatible with a static RAM so that I can use uh, a static RAM instead. And that's going to be the next thing to do.